I'd like one more time to address the, uh, the reconciliation package. We know that it's a very large spending package and will result in more welfare and inevitably have to have more taxes, which will put a damper on the economy. But let's look at the type of vision the Democrat Party has for our country, given what they're spending the money on. We know we have a big illegal immigration crisis in this country, right? Everybody knows 8,000 people in the country last July, 105,000 this July. What are we going to do with it? And we have record numbers, uh, record amounts of fentanyl coming across the southern border. We respond with a provision giving 7 million people a path to amnesty, which is a magnet to get more people here. We make it more difficult to remove people from the country if they commit crimes, including sex offenses, sex offenses and firearm convictions, without any discretion from DHS. So you want to make it more difficult to get even the criminal element out of the country. But finally, we promise anybody coming in the country free college. Pell Grants designed for poor Americans are going to go to people who come here illegally. We want the average American to sit there at home paying thirty or forty thousand uh, dollars tuition in debt for till they're thirty or forty years old. But you come here illegally, boom, free college. The second thing we get out of here is I think we have a welfare pro problem in this country. We're encouraging people not to work. We're encouraging people not to get married. How do they respond? Be it looking at the recent increase in food share benefits, the massive amount of money going to low-income housing. Uh, uh, the increase in earned income tax credit, the, the larger Pell Grants. Everywhere you look in this bill, it's more money for people of a certain lifestyle at, at the expense of the person who is getting married and working harder. Race preferences. Throughout this bill, it seems like they're incapable of doing a program that benefits all Americans. It's always targeting somebody from this race or that race or this gender or that gender. Very divisive bill. Um, greatly increased the government's uh, role in raising the children. As the government pays for all the three and four year old kids. The kind of the opposite of what America is supposed to be, where the child's upbringing is family-centered. Now we want to make the ch child's upbringing uh, government-centered. And finally, a more uh, surveillance state. 87,000 new IRS agents. What could they possibly do? But obviously you can see where we're headed as a country at a time where our factories and farms can't find anybody to work. We're going to take all the unemployed people and make them IRS agents. Uh, in any event, I urge America to pay attention where this money is going in this bill because it's a type of America our forefathers never would have imagined. Thank you.